Say hi. This is my son, King, guys. Hi. He don't like being on camera. But isn't he so cute? Look, guys, I gave him a haircut. I'm going to start giving uh, videos of him when I cut his hair. Mwah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen P, and I am back with another video. But today, we are going to talk about more female truck driving tips. And I feel like these are very important. Okay, these are very important, so we're going to get right into it. Okay, so number one, guys, when you're on the road, when you are on the road and you're just waking up, right? And you sign me in, you know, you done washed your face and did everything that you need to do to take care of your personal hygiene. When you clock into that clock, you need to actually check the truck and the trailer. Okay? You need to do this. They don't tell you to do it just because they want you to do it. It's very serious. And for one, you're a woman and you will hate to get stuck somewhere. Do not underestimate the weight of everything on the truck. It's no joke. It's heavy. And you will be out there screaming and ready to say F the world if you do not listen to me, okay? So when you wake up and clock in, go out and actually do your walk around. Actually check the truck. And the number one thing that I feel like is very, very, very important to check is to make sure that your fifth wheel is connected to the trailer. You know, um, nowadays it's not known for people, you know, when they want to be petty, they might go under there and, you know, pull pull your kingpin out. And you do not want to pull off from that truck. And that baby is not connected. I'm going to tell you why. Because if you pull off and that trailer hit the ground, you're going to be out there turning that landing gear for your dear life. When I say you're going to be ready to scream, cry, and give up on life itself, I'm not even joking. Like that landing gear, when it's not properly let down, I'm telling you, it's the worst thing in the world. Okay, like men, they're way stronger than us, but for a woman, and your trailer hits the ground without the landing gear being in place, you might as well, I'm telling you, I didn't get it before. And I was ready to just, I was just ready to quit because it's so heavy. It's so tiring. Just imagine you out in 90 degree weather and you trying to turn the landing gear, turning. I'm talking about you turning for at least maybe an hour. If it was all the way up, you better, you better pray. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. You better pray. And all my fellow truck drivers that's been in the game long enough, y'all already know that's a pet peeve a pet peeve because if you don't catch it in time i'm telling you you're gonna be so upset okay so make sure your kingpin is locked around the trailer okay make sure it's locked step two you want to check your tires don't be the one who eyeballs and like oh it's good just get you a sledgehammer yes the one with the flat is big is round big and round it's a little thicker than a regular hammer and it has a flat surface you want to have one of those sledgehammers and just hit each tire you do not want to get caught with a flat tire you don't know when you're going to get pulled in to the weight scale and the worst thing you want to have is a flat tire because that just gives them protocol to go ahead and do the full inspection on you okay now you didn't your inspection wanted to turn to the highest one now because you have a flat tire okay so just make sure you check all of your tires don't ever 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 ever, ever not checking ties <laughs> next thing you guys is my favorite truck stop i feel like i didn't tell you guys this in the last video that i made my favorite truck stop i actually have two so my first one is all Flying J's and Pilots. I love them because for one, you can get you get a lot of points every time you use their car and also when you fuel. And my second favorite fuel stop is the TA. Okay, TA, TA. Why? Because when you fuel, you get points to go in there and buy stuff. Um, it's like it's like a gold mine. Like you get gas and you go in there. I get water, whatever I need for free. You can even get food, anything in there you can use your car for. So 
I, those are my two favorites because they, you know, they reward us when we fuel with them. So I used to hope that trucking companies didn't have a specific fuel stop, you know, because then I just take the fun out of everything. But Flying J Pilots or TA, I'm in there. <laughs> those are my favorites. And the showers are usually amazing at Flying J. It just depends on which one you go to. My third tip, and this is kind of relating to the landing gear that I just talked about, but when you're trying to hook up to a trailer and your truck won't go underneath the trailer, that just means that the trailer is sitting lower than your fifth wheel. So what you're gonna have to do is lower your airbags and then try to get underneath the trailer, okay? Don't get frustrated because people get frustrated. Like, oh my God, it's not going underneath there. I'm only telling you from experience because I'm telling you when you're a new truck driver, a lot of things are going to scare you or just frustrate you because you don't know. And all I can tell you guys is to remain calm, okay? It is too many YouTube videos out here for y'all to be getting frustrated, okay? It's somebody out there that didn't put up a video to help you. So please use your resources before freaking out or just giving up, okay? Don't give up. I'm trying to tell you, it is, this is a gold mine. Having a CDL, even if you don't use it, it's still racking up the gear. So just stay calm, okay? So yeah, you wanna lower your airbags and then try to go underneath the trailer. If that doesn't work, then you wanna try to turn the landing gear to go more towards the ground. Of course, don't let it up off the ground because then you just, that that's not a good idea <laughs> and then just try to get underneath the trailer okay and then once you get underneath the trailer you could lift it up a little more and then just go right up underneath it so i know that's one of the things that used to frustrate me when i first started because i did not know this lower the airbags okay that's all you usually have to do you don't even have to touch the landing gear most of the time so just always lower your airbags okay always check your oils and your wires the fuel, make sure nothing is dripping or torn or eroded. Like you learn all of this stuff in school, but it really does apply and it really helps with your own safety. Like you do not want to get in these trucks and be cocky and think you know it all, like you don't. And I'm just being honest because we all started somewhere and we all started fresh and new and we all had to learn this game. So just be humble and always, always, always cover yourself. And trucking is all on you, okay? I don't care if a four-wheeler driver came in front of you and slammed on his brakes. You're not even supposed to, technically, we're not supposed to even be that close to cars. But so much, so many things be out of our hands and we still get held accountable for it. So if you want to invest in getting a camera for those types of situations, then go on right ahead. I know a lot of people are really taking that serious now because they do try to pin this with everything. Like say, like I said, say the car hopped in front of you and slammed on their brakes, you automatically are in trouble unless you have proof. It's just so terrible. So if you guys want to invest in a camera to watch out for yourself, then go ahead and do that. And also, it's great to get a camera if you plan on sleeping at rest areas or truck stops because some people just do not know how to back up. And believe me, it's more common than you think. People really do not know how to back up. And these trucks are, you know what I'm saying, you have to be very skilled and you also just have to know what you're doing. So if you want to get it for that so you can, you know, record things while you're sleeping, it's always good to get a camera. My last tip is just to don't worry about being new or, you know, because you don't know anything. Always bet on yourself, okay guys? Always bet on yourself and just be confident in everything you do. And I promise y'all, y'all gonna go crazy out here. Y'all gonna make money, y'all gonna be happy because literally if you have things to take care of, you got right into trucking. You could use your CDL and just go out there and take care of what you need to take care of. Like there's so many benefits to having your CDL. And if you just need a career change, you're tired of sitting at the desk, you're tired of being in a medical office, whatever it is, like don't be scared because women are really out here. We out here to support y'all and I'm supporting y'all regardless because I love my ladies. 
Love my ladies. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is a very short video. I just wanted to come on here with some more tips. And if you guys have any more questions, just let me know in the comments, okay? And I will be sure to help y'all. I love helping. And y'all already know my favorite saying, I will always try to bring y'all the best content, but I will always be myself authentically every day. That's how you get ahead. Be yourself. You can't be nobody else, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.